Hey everyone, Sam Rathmeyer here with the Wednesday Night Wine Club. This is the white wine video for October 2021. Let's get into it. Really excited to talk to you about the white wine for this month. This is from Andre and Michel Kenard. The Kenards live in an area of France called the Savoie. The Savoie is on the eastern um, side of France, kind of in the pre-Alps on the border with Switzerland. There are parts um, of this wine region that you can actually see Lake Geneva from. High altitude alpine region, the wines tend to take on this quality to them that you really only find high up in the mountains. And it, to me, sometimes smells like a forest. You get kind of that, that pine resiny thing. And these guys are really cool. So the, a bunch of the grape varieties that grow up, uh, that, that are popular there, um, called Altesse, Jacquer, and uh, Bergeron. You don't really hear about those grape varieties anywhere else because they're an indigenous set of grapes um, to that particular region, which is the Savoie. And the only reason that this winemaking region has survived throughout history is that if you're French and you want to go you want to go skiing the Savoie is where you go in the winter time and then if you're there you do as the locals do and drink the local wines so this area has been is completely cut off from any kind of waterway that would help export the wines to the the world at large so really it's tourism that has allowed this area to flourish. You are starting to see more and more wines from the Savoie come into the States, which is really fun. This is Bergeron. It's what is also known as Roussan in the rest of France. So I thought for, especially October, as we're getting into the winter months, this is a really great uh, white wine because it's a little more textural and weighty. So you'll notice golden color in the glass and not that you know color necessarily means anything, but it evokes this feeling of, it's like a golden apple, it, it, it makes me think of fall. And on the nose, you get notes of white flower, ripe peach. This is a, you can tell, a fuller bodied white wine. Let's try it. So definitely the white flower, the peach, this wine has that waxy texture, it coats your mouth, but the acidity still comes through and that's really due to the higher elevation where this grape variety is planted. It's just colder, so the acid's gonna stay higher, the sugars are gonna stay lower, whereas if you planted this uh, more in the southern part of France, that wine might have more of that viscosity, that texture, and feel a little bit kind of uh, kind of like butter on butter whereas this is butter with uh, a little bit of lemon juice uh, squeezed over it. Now, I mentioned that this wine is a fuller bodied wine. Well, what does that mean, right? We hear light bodied, full bodied, but how can you tell or differentiate between, between the two? I actually think about it like milk, not fat milk all the way to whole milk and the, the, how that coats your mouth is very much how wine will do that. And so when we talk about fuller bodied or full bodied, that is going more towards that whole milk. Sometimes, especially with dessert wines, you get even into like cream. And full-bodied wines kind of became a four-letter word really because of California Chardonnay and that the wines were rich and round and full with no acid to kind of cut through it. So wines like this, I think this in particular, it's very balanced because you do have the richness and the, the texture with that acidity coming through, that's where full-bodied wines can be fun. If you don't have that acid, it, it is. It really just feels like a big bleh in your mouth. <laughs> that's, I realize how that sounds and that's not, uh, yeah. But I'm not gonna edit that out. That's, that's funny. So what would you pair with this? I think any kind of winter salad, if you have persimmons, even bitter greens, the texture can kind of actually offset that bitterness, which would be really nice roast chicken, uh, roasted fish, pork would be fantastic. And keep in mind that because it is a rounder, more textural white, uh, white wine, wine in general, you do want food with this. You can get pa palate fatigue if you just drink this on its own. Whereas if you have something that kind of cuts through that richness, it's a really fantastic wine. If you felt like you learned something about wine with this video, give it a like, give it a, a subscribe to it and let me help you continue to learn more about wine. Cheers.